So I was able to watch the newest spy film, Argyle, so here is my review on the movie. Let's start off with everything I liked about it. And for starters, when it comes to Argyle, for some reason this movie has like a 34% on Rotten Tomatoes, which, yeah, I do not think it needs to be that low. No reason why it needs to be that low at all. Because when it comes to this movie, it's a nice spy film. Now, I will dive into other stuff later, but for the most part, for a spy film, I really like the twists and turns they throw into here. Because you kind of, you're kind of at the edge of the, your seat most of the movie. So I really like what they do with it and kind of add these nice spins to the movie itself. Another thing is the plot. I do really like the plot in here about this author wrote a book and then basically, without diving in too much, that book was, like, happened, basically. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. The book happened in real life. So then she is caught up in this big old mess. But yeah, I do like the plot in here. I feel like, like I said, the twist in there that they added, I feel like do really work. And just throughout the movie, I feel like everything plays off in a nice way off each other. And the action scenes in here are just a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun and silly things just thrown into these action scenes and the movie throughout it. And I do really like the choices they did there. A lot of people won't. This is why this movie is so low on Rotten Tomatoes. But for me... I do, I do like the ideas they throw in here throughout the movie. And if you're wondering why this movie has such a low rating on Rotten Tomatoes, in my opinion is the main reason why is that this movie is too goofy for some people. It's too over the top, it's too silly with everything. It's like they're going all out ridiculous with this movie. And the movie knows what it is, which is why it worked. I This movie, the best example, is go to a Meg movie to watch shark eating people. You go into this movie to watch all the silliness. That's basically probably the best example I can give to it. Just expect a lot of silliness in this movie and just the movie to play out silliness. Like, it doesn't really take itself seriously. It's just, you have to expect silliness to enjoy this movie. And that's what I did and really enjoyed it. But this movie isn't perfect. So let's move on to everything I didn't like about it. And the first thing on here is this movie is way too long. It is two hours and 20 minutes and you could feel it. You can definitely feel this runtime. It's... There's a lot that happens. That's why this runtime, I feel like, didn't... You could feel the runtime. And they needed to cut some things out to really shorten it. To make it kind of like this tight, compact story. Instead, we got... You could feel the runtime kind of story. Now, there's fun. There's fun in here. But you can definitely feel the runtime. And it can bore you. Just because of the runtime in here. I feel like we needed to cut a good... 30 to 20 minutes out of this movie just for that tighter runtime. Now, this movie doesn't have a lot of CGI, but the CGI in here does not really look good. They needed to fix a lot of stuff. Now, the budget obviously went into the actors in here. Obviously, John Cena's in here and Henry Cavill's in here. That's where the budget obviously went to, but. I feel like the CGI needed to be fixed. There, It was off. It didn't really look fully right. You can see it in the trailer. Basically, the CGI in the trailer is still what the CGI looks like in the movie. Now, like I said, there's not a whole lot of CGI, but when the CGI does happen, you do see it. But all in all, Argyle is a fun spy film with a bunch of plot twists in there, a bunch of twists that will keep you at the edge of your seat the entire movie. Does it deserve to be a 30, 34% of Rotten Tomatoes? No. But it is understandable of how it is that low. Because this movie is silly. It takes itself over the top with everything they do. And it knows what it's doing. And you're just expect to enjoy this movie for what it is. And the over the top silliness in here. And the movie extends itself 
too much and definitely could have been shortened by 20 to 30 minutes. It, for In my opinion, I think you should check out Argyle if you like over-the-top silly fun. If, you, if you're not a fan of that, this movie is definitely not for you. But if you love over-the-top silly fun, this movie is for you. And it's a spy movie too, so suspenseful fun. And out of 10, I'll give Argyle a, a 6.5 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts. Follow my leather box, color code, and movies. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.